Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to The Last Call. I am Punk Rock Ian. Well, I, I moved my desk, so let's see. Which way do I point? Uh, I picked yeah, you're correct. Right. You got, yes, you picked yes, correct. that's a game. Yeah. yeah, that's a game. So I got to remember, that's... point point that way. All right. All that's right. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, we were off last week. And I, I feel I feel I feel a tad rusty, not only because we were off last week, but because, as I just told Gabe, uh, I've been on a uh, I've been on a little tea break for the last three days and decided to end that five minutes ago. <laughs> it's glorious so you... that you that you picked that time to do it as well. <laughs> nah, nah. So I, I wanted to do uh, wanted to start the show off right. <laughs> I agree. I, I th and I think you should have. Yes. Uh but let's see. Um honestly, I wish I could tell you that I did a, like a, a bunch of cool shit. Um I did I mean I I mean I watched the movies uh that were on <laughs> which yep. will which we will discuss. But uh I I really kind of just sat around. <laughs> I mean, we you know, we moved some things. As you can tell, I moved desks. So like I'm 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 just in a different position in the room, but uh, I think I think the man over here is the one that had the more eventful, uh, fucking couple of days here. Cause when you got you got you got a moment, sir. You got a moment to step out the projection booth, if you will, and you voyaged on to the to a theater, which is rare nowadays. Yes, yes. You care to tell us about that voyage? Well, it would be my honor, sir. <laughs> if you have the means, I'm just going to come out and say it first. If you have the means, get in the car, get you a ticket, because they've extended the showings out until the 10th of November at any Regal Cinema. Dawn of the Dead 3D. Now, my experience was awesome twofold. Because we had a bomb ass dinner right before we went, where I had a pumpkin beer because it's in, it's in season. Is that the uh, the picture you posted with the fucking burger, the the P the PB and J burger? Okay, I feel like I've heard of something like that before, but at the same time, I'm just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Allow me to enlighten our audience on what that burger was, because it was fantastic. It was on sourdough bread, which is already a win for me, okay. for burgers. <clears throat> Cheddar cheese, peanut butter, and blackberry jam. I think that was up. I think it was just three things. But, holy shit, it was delicious. I never thought I would say, let's put regular peanut butter, not like a Thai peanut sauce that has some kick to it. Nah, let's just do a straight PB&J on a burger like that. But, my God, it was great. And then, of course, the mixture leaked down onto my tater tots, so I had some, like, <laughs> very nice tater tots with it as well. Now, I'm with you. I think I would experiment with that. I would just... What up, D? Uh, Welcome, D. I just don't need the cheese. The cheese part. Like, I can, I can get around putting that on a burger, but not adding the cheese. A, I'm not a big cheese guy to begin with. But I... I but when you're saying the runoff, you said you had the, you had some tots. I had some tots I'm, on the side. I'm imagining that jam with them tots. That I that I that's something I can get behind. <laughs> I don't know if you're like me, but like uh, black currant, black blackberry jam, anything in that sort of texture and family, I love it. So I I, I was like I was looking at the menu and I said, my God. I don't think I should do that, but I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and it was it was worth it was worth the experience. So that was a good pregame to the whole thing. Then got into the theater, got a diet Pepsi because I like the way it tastes, <laughs> and went to the went and sat down. They actually had a trailer reel on it, which they didn't have for the thing, which tells me that they they had some advertising space, so they went ahead and make a little bit of extra money on top of it, which is fine. They should, because... Hey, who knows? Maybe that's what got it all the way to the 10th. 
<laughs> Might be, but also, if it keeps getting the money, maybe they actually will release the Martin ex- uh, director's cut. Since well, this you, is the guy that owns the rights. You, it's funny because I've noticed, I, I, I know that, that every so often, it's not an unheard of idea where theaters will throw on, uh, you know, older movies and stuff for like anniversary purposes or just to have a fucking good time. You know, it happens. It, it's not, like I said, it's not a new idea. But I've noticed that it's been kind of all going on a lot more lately. Like, I just heard that they're going to be doing, because of the 30th anniversary, they're doing, what, planes, trains, and automobiles? Yeah, yeah. So, it, I'm, I'm digging this. I, I agree with, I want more, I mean, obviously, I mean, planes, trains, and automobiles, fuck yeah, but let's throw in some more of them horror movies. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, Halloween uh, and Halloween 4 and Halloween 5 got the theater releases this year. Halloween, I think they've been doing it the last four or five, which has been nice. Uh, and then I think Regal Cinemas is probably the one that's kind of leading the way on this. But, man, you can go into the theater now and see The Godfather if you want. I mean, that's that's kind of cool that some of these older movies, even though The Godfather gets all the love that it needs, I think, you know, you can go in and see them. But not Dawn of the Dead 3D. That was where I had a moment that a, I was like, a big theater picked up Dawn of the Dead 3D? This is problematic for a couple of reasons. One, 3D <laughs> movies kind of aren't really a thing anymore because the last one I saw was Rogue One, I think, in theaters, which was kind of cool, not going to lie. I know I saw one of the, I think it was the second of the newer Star Trek movies. I saw that. And then I seen I oh I, I went and saw the the first Doctor Strange, but I did that right because they shot that for IMAX and all like they they specifically went out of their way so I'm not gonna count that. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I, and I just lied. I saw I think I saw Terminator two in 3D. Last Be good, but Dawn of the Dead 3D was better, and that's not Dawn of the Dead bias coming out, and I will explain why in in just a in just a moment. Um, with that said, though, yeah, I I would like for them to keep selling tickets on this because I want my Martin director's cut. That's that's kind of that was one one of the things I was thinking about after watching the the movie was like, man, I hope this does good. So he's like, hey, maybe I should go ahead and release this because you can get you can get a print of the theatrical cut of Martin for the theater now, which is pretty dope. But the director's cut. That's what we want. <laughs> Word. Well, uh, I'm I'm gonna have to fucking look into that. We got plenty of time. I know that I I like going to the theater. I like the experience. I don't really like other people. <laughs> I'm very, very, very uh, strategic when I go to the theater. I always pick a work day. The very first showing early morning, you know, yep. it's, just, it's just me and a couple grandpas, you know, and half of them are going to go to sleep like before the end of the trailers. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yep. Yep. So that's when I like to to go, and I, I know that uh, the next time that we, I've got, I've actually planned out. I mean, I'm going to go see the new Black Panther because I have to. Um, but that that's going to be the next movie out or outing. <laughs> real real quick I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna give a quick little rundown of what to expect then because we've watched the original dawn of the dead oh, a yeah, few yeah. times um one i don't know how they advertise this because they released the unrated cut to theaters they bypass this is the x-rated version that comes out or they can't call it an x-rating because they never submitted it to the mpaa so there's no mpaa credit at the end this is the no one under 17 will be admitted version. So we didn't okay, get the that, watered down R rated cut. All right. Efforts might have to be made because it, it, I mean, it's not that, not that the movie in and of itself isn't enough to go, but <laughs> it's the giant middle finger version that George Romero put out in theaters. It's not the watered down. one. <laughs> And the 3D, they actually, they did two, they did a couple of things to it. 
they did more than two. They did probably like 200, but there's a couple of big noticeable changes. Obviously, with the 3D, the depth of field that you get, you actually realize how big some of the spaces were in the mall and how small some of the other ones were. It's very, very... Interesting. Yeah, it can get kind of claustrophobic at times, but in a good way because you're in a horror movie. You, you know, now that you mention it, because I'm just thinking of how malls in general looked like that were around in that time. All of the shapes, like they're very uh, geometrical, I believe is the word. Yes. Um, and I'm just thinking like if you were to do theatrical screen 3D and I'm like that, that's your playground right there. <laughs> oh, and it gets better. <laughs> For scenes where things were already coming at the screen, they added a little bit of something, something extra in. And I'm not going to divulge all of it because I don't want you to feel expecting it in certain areas. But even in areas where you're not really expecting it, they've added some stuff in that makes you feel really part of the experience. So... I can't praise it enough. I kind of want to go get an extra ticket and go again um, <laughs> before the before the theater runs done, uh, since this is the only way to watch the 3D cut. Even if you have a 3D TV with 3D passive on it, it uh, they don't have a disc release for it. So go see it. That's all I'm going to say. It was a fantastic experience all around. There was about 12 of us in the theater, I think. That's awesome, but sad. <laughs> no, not 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 a group of twelve. There was like five of us on one row, and then one person up front, two out the back. You know, it was it, we were spread out. It wasn't a lot of people. We were probably the most rowd, rowdy group in there because we were. I mean, the head exploded. We were like, "Oh shit!" And then one of our friends hadn't seen the movie before, and his first experience was the three D print. You're out, you're out there performing miracles, sir. I, <laughs> Changing lives. <laughs> I had no idea until it was over with, and I was like, my God, dude, you just saw it probably the best way you could have on a big screen, and the 3D effect wasn't schmaltzy. It was good. Nice. 